We're running against the most radical, most incompetent, most unfit vice president in the history of our country. No one respects her. No one trusts her. No one takes her seriously. Something is clearly wrong with her. She can't put two sentences together. She's an international joke, and she is going to end up getting us into a third world war. This person cannot be president when the people of North Carolina were stranded and drowning and Hurricane Helene Kamala Harris was at a glitzy fundraiser in a city that she destroyed, San Francisco. She spent the last four years taking your money to provide shelter and benefits to illegal aliens. But when North Carolina needed help, Kamala Harris was nowhere to be found. And it took her a long time to get here, too. And she only did it. She only did it. She, she only came here because she's running for office. I was here the day after. I didn't want to go in. I didn't want to disturb them. But I was in North Carolina. <laughs> Kamala Harris does not have the compassion, the smarts, or the strength to be the president of the United States. She just can't do the job. You know it. Everybody knows it. Her people know it. The people that work for her know it. Every single, almost 95 percent of the people that work for her as vice president quit. They were always quitting because she was uh, a nut job. And on top of it all, she says she would not do one thing differently from Joe Biden, which is totally disqualifying immediately. <laughs>